What's good guys, for my last piece on Madden 23, I really wanted to do a video that kind of, um, on the defensive side of the ball, taught you how to think and how to basically fish, if you will. Um, a video that explains kind of the why behind the what. Why is Nickel Normal consistently one of the best defenses? Why is Big Nickel over G consistently one of the best defenses? Why is Nickel 335 wide consistently one of the best defenses year over year? Why do um, these formations seem to always appear? And also, this will help you learn how to find stuff in Madden 23, how to find a blitz, how to find a great coverage. Um, those are all things we're going to talk about in this video and kind of piggybacking off of a video I did on the offensive side of the ball the other day. Um, really why I believe in ebooks and it doesn't necessarily matter what the formation or subject is. You could buy an ebook on nickel 335 normal and you could apply that ebook to nickel 335 odd or to nickel 245 odd or to dollar 326. You can, you can cross apply things that you learn maybe in one formation to another uh, formation, especially on the defense, I think even more so on the defensive side of the ball than on the offensive side of the ball. And so we're just gonna mainly be focusing on blitzing in this video. Um, I think this is gonna really help going into Madden 20, into uh, Madden 23. And there's kind of three, maybe four uh, styles of blitzing that I think exists in Madden. The first one is the most common. Um, it's the one we're going to touch on first. It's it's basically edge pressure. Um, slot corner blitzes uh, have been good in Madden for years. And we're going to focus on this. I'm going to show you two formations that basically they're almost identical in terms of how this blitz is going to work. And it's how you can learn how to run nickel normal and big nickel over G in the same basic overview. Okay. So nickel normal, nickel blitz two is the play call. All we're going to do is we're going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to crash our defensive line out. And then we're going to stand, you know, kind of right here on the center. And what you're going to see is we're going to get really good edge pressure on the side of the nickel corner blitzing. Another style of blitzing is what I call stack blitzing or overloading like the line of scrimmage. Um, and so that could look like this little pinch look out of the nickel normal where we're going to, you know, zone the slot corner. We're going to blitz both linebackers. Um, and then we're just going to use it as HB side linebacker and you'll see that the pressure kind of comes off It's because we're kind of overloading the middle of the formation. This is actually uh, Why nickel three three five wide is so good Is because if you if you think about where your user is going to stand You're just going to basically suck the guard into trying to block you and you'll see the pressure is going to come from the edge So you're stacking in the middle of the formation and the pressure is going to come right off of the defensive lineman on the edge of the formation Now, how could we apply this knowledge to a formation? Um, let me make it a little bit harder on myself. We're going to apply this to 4-4 four, four split um, So 4-4 four, four split not very many people run this um, you know, but basically what we can do is we can crash our line out. We can blitz this guy off of the edge and then we can stand in the opposite gap of the blitzer. So you see, we're going to stand here and what you'll see a lot of times is we're still going to get that edge pressure. That's very similar to the edge pressure that we created out of the nickel normal, which, um, is also very similar to the edge pressure that I'm about to show you out of big nickel over G. And so this is how you can, like, by learning one defense, right, maybe you get an ebook on the big nickel over G, you can learn several different defenses because it's the principle of the formation um, and how it works. Like weak safety blitz three, this now basically looks like that 4-4 four, four style defense, and we can send pressure off the left edge. We can send dual edge pressure just by blitzing our slot corners, right? That's kind of how, um, how this works. Now let's get into the dollar three two six um, defense just real briefly here, and um, and and the DB fire too, right? So that in the dollar formation actually exists three specific types of blitzing metas. The first one is what we're about to show you with the dollar blitz, but then we also have the edge blitz, and then we also have the play cross three fire, um, which is the which is the um, crossfire. Uh, style of blitzing if you will so I'm gonna start with DB fire and then we'll kind of work through this here but basically we're just trying to essentially get the guards attention so that we can get this slot corner free off the edge and as you can see we're able to send pressure that way 
and then I'm gonna grab the edge blitz. Now, by the way, this is why I'm such a big believer in eBooks. It's why the number one way that you can support me on a, as a creator is by getting my eBooks. The best way to get my eBooks, you can get all of my eBooks in Madden, and I actually have left um, access to our Madden 21 eBooks and our Madden 22 eBooks open for the Madden 23 season because I believe that these concepts always build upon each other. And so if you want to check that out, it's only $10. You'll literally today get access to over 50 eBooks in Madden, um, breaking down almost every formation you can think of. If you wanna get access to that, the link is down in the description and it literally walks through step-by-step step how to run dollar three two six, how to run big nickel, how to run three three five wide, how to run three three five normal. We actually just put in there a blitz resource guide that literally details every blitz in Madden 22 formation by formation how to run 335 odd, how to run three, all the pressures so that you know where to start when Madden 23 comes out. By being a member, you also get access to all of my Madden 23 stuff as soon as it releases. So it's just a great uh, resource. I think we provide a lot of content over there to help you become a better player. That being said, um, let's go over this loop pressure. So there's a little bit of a nuance to this concept, but basically by hitting contain and zoning this slot corner, we're gonna be able to run the loop concept. And um, that guy, I guess, has bad agility. Agility does matter for that, that loop, but essentially that's the idea. That's the basics. Um, that's literally the basics of the, of the blitz. And uh, actually, I forgot to flip my play. Let me show you that real quick. Uh, maybe I should spread my line. But you see how I'm kind of creating this edge blitz you know, style of blitzing, as you see right there. He's looping around the guy. And then the, I'm gonna come back to that in just a second, but you see that's one style. And then the last thing that I'm gonna show you um, from Dollar is cross three fire um, and how this blitz works. And again, I'm just kind of walking you through how these concepts build off of one another. So crossfire is another style of blitzing. It's a style that I personally really like. Um, but anyway, what you'll see here is we're gonna blitz the slot corner. And again, we've got that loop blitz coming through you know, the A gap. So if I can get the center and the guard's attention, you see how good the loop blitz can be off of the opposite, um, off the opposite a gap. Okay, and then I want to come back to nickel normal real quick and show you how the the loop concept can apply um, to formations. Like even though dollar three two six, right, is a formation that doesn't really look like nickel normal. Nickel normal is actually really where primarily, at least in my opinion, where the loop concept originated. Um, you turn auto flip off, you contain and then zone the slot corner that's blitzing and you see that the linebacker stays on the contain. This is basically the foundation of the loop blitz that people started to find out of three uh, out of three two six that people started to like shift linebackers into out of the three three five odd you know and so this has been something that's been in Madden the whole season long it's just people have taken time to cross apply it and to transfer the knowledge that they already had in terms of the loop blitz concept that they could then apply to a big nickel over G which I'll show you that while I'm uh, thinking about it that we can actually and I found this I didn't find this until like the very end of the season But it was there all year where I could do something like this and send the same basic concept From the big nickel over G with probably more of a success rate than the nickel normal So all of these concepts can transfer formation to formation and what you find in other plays might um, you know, they might lead you lead you to discover other formations that are effective and to close this out i just wanted to show you one more thing um and that is the other playbook that i loaded up into practice mode the big or uh, the baltimore ravens uh playbook i believe and i just wanted to show you how all of this stuff can kind of come into um you know focus here so like nickel triple works very similar to 335 wide 335 odd and 245 odd are very similar styles of blitzing concepts nickel 245 is kind of like that nickel normal so i'll show you um that nickel blitz 2 that we were talking about uh from from uh, nickel normal the same concept applies to nickel 245 as you can see um, another concept that we showed you in nickel normal where we have the linebackers right where they're gonna we're gonna send pressure through our linebackers well we have to do it a little differently but if you get this guy down here like so you're gonna be able to send the same basic concept that you were doing from nickel normal from 335 Sam from 335 will from big nickel 
all of those concepts cross apply to formations is all I wanted to try to get at today. Now, the same is true, and I don't have time to go into too much detail on this today, but the same is true of coverages that you call. Cover three in 335 odd is kind of like cover three in nickel 245, right? So there's kind of a couple buckets. There's your blitzing bucket where that's all your blitzing concepts, but then there's also your coverage bucket. And that's why I'm a big believer in big nickel over G. Um, that's why uh, a lot of people that run 335 odd, well, they don't have certain coverages like cover four quarters or cover four palms or cover three match, right? I think they might have cover three match, but 335 wide has doesn't have cover four uh, palms that actually has cover four quarters. The point is this, that conceptually you can transfer coverages that you learn in nickel 335 wide, for example, maybe you've been running that in one of the best defenses all year, you can transfer, transfer a lot of the concepts that you've learned um, throughout playing Madden this year in 335 odd or 335 wide, maybe to something that's more meta or more effective in Madden 23, such as the 335 odd, because the 335 odd is going to get probably better pressure, chances are, than, um, than nickel 335 wide. We saw this blitz really effective. This has been effective blitz in Madden um, at least for the last two years. And in Madden, um, I believe in Madden 19 and 18, there was a basically a little bit of a nuanced version of this, but it was the same essential concept. And guess what? In Madden 23, guess what the best defense is right out of the box that you could probably play? Either 335 odd, 245 odd, or dollar 326. If you look at this right here, you're going to see that they are in this little stacked blitz angle. That is the concept that we're kind of getting at here. And I'll show you, I'll prove it to you here in just a second after this play. We're gonna go over to Dime 236 uh, Will, which is another really good defense. And guess what that defense looks like? It looks very similar to the dollar 326. So by learning nickel 335 odd, or by learning dollar, we then subsequently learned Dime 236 Will and Dime 146. By learning nickel normal, we learned Dime 236, nickel 245, big nickel over G, and nickel normal, nickel 335 Sam. They're all very similar is what I'm getting at. So um, here's DB Fire 2, and I'm just gonna show you the play art, but what you'll see, see how they're stacked? See how these two guys are stacked, and over here they're not stacked? That's basically telling me the pressure is probably gonna be better off of this other side. And as you can see, the guy that came free is on that side. So that's just what I wanted to talk about in terms of why I think eBooks are valuable. Um, I think it's, I, I really do think that it's the best way to learn because the things that you learn in an eBook, you can buy an eBook on anything, whether it be, you could buy an eBook on Big Nickel, you could buy an eBook on 335 Wide, but you can transfer that knowledge um, typically across formations and even across generations of the game um, to be able to be more effective. So anyways, that's just kind of uh, something I wanted to do, wanted to talk about how, you know, whenever you're in a formation, you can transfer things that you're doing in that formation to other formations that you might want to explore further. So there's always something in a formation that makes it unique. I think that the key is not only to find what makes it unique, but also use concepts that you've taken from other formations to make it uh, a firm foundation to build upon. So thanks for watching the video. If you wanna support me, if you wanna get better at Madden, I'd really encourage you to join our Patreon. That's where I put all of my eBooks. Um, I pump out a lot of eBooks uh, because I'm trying to kind of get you guys understanding how all of these formations uh, subsequently work. So if you wanna check all that stuff out, we're gonna have a ton of material in Madden 23 and I'm really excited about it. Been really thankful for my YouTube channel and all the support and the growth that we've had over the last couple of years and uh, really excited for Madden 23. I think it's gonna be a great game. I think there's a lot of potential um, and I have so many ideas for videos. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching and if you wanna sign up for the Patreon uh, to get all my eBooks, the link is down in the description. It's only 10 bucks to sign up and it gets you unloaded access to everything.